Hi. Now you can study your Quizlet.com flashcards on your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or Android device using this app, My Quiz Card. I'm going to take three or four minutes to show you how to use My Quiz Card. Quizlet.com is an amazing resource for students. With over six million available flashcard sets, it's a great place to study online, and you can create your own flashcards on Quizlet.com quickly and easily. My Quiz Card allows you to study and search for flashcards right from your phone. Here's how it works. I've selected the Search tab to find new flashcard sets to study. Let's say I want to bone up on my SAT vocabulary. I'll type in SAT and click Enter. My Quiz Card then gives me a list of SAT-related flashcard sets available from Quizlet.com. I'll select the 100 most common and tap the arrow to preview what's in this set. This looks pretty good, so I'll, set, I'll add it to my favorites by clicking the star at the top of the screen and then begin to study the cards. Once I have made a flashcard set a favorite and access the flashcard set once, I can study the cards even when I am offline, like in the subway or on a bus with no Wi-Fi or cell signal. Tapping a card flips it over. Swiping across the card moves it to the next or to the previous card. Let's have a look at my favorites now. Here we can see uh, I have another set called French Vocabulary. If I click on it, we, we see that Quizlet.com also allows pictures in the flashcard sets. To set my quiz card to use my own Quizlet.com flashcards, I go to Settings and enter my username. Here I'm going to type in a new username, Napsis, and then click Save. When I return to Favorites, I see that now I've got Napsis's flashcard sets displayed. If I tap on some red birds, then we can see another way of using Quizlet.com flashcards to study. Uh, these flashcards only have pictures on one side and the descriptive text on the other. My Quiz Card is available at the Apple App Store and Android Marketplace for 99 cents. Enjoy.